Apple has just announced macOS Mojave, which includes some pretty big new features and changes. Here's our top 5 list. The first new feature, which is my personal favorite, is Stacks. You can enable it by clicking on Use Stacks within the View tab in the menu bar. All of your files instantly get organized into different stacks. Right click on the desktop to change how they're grouped, like date last opened for example. You can also change how the files within each stack are sorted. When adding new files to the desktop, they'll automatically get tossed into the corresponding stack. Folders, on the other hand, go below the stacks. You can click on a stack and expand all of its files. And you can easily drag and drop a file into apps like Mail. For number 2, we have Quick Look. This feature has been available on Macs for a long time by simply hitting the spacebar while selecting a file, but Apple has added some really handy new features to it. You can now instantly rotate images, screenshots, and videos within Quick Look, and simply press the spacebar again to save the changes. Quick Look on images, screenshots, and PDFs now includes Markup, which defaults to the pen tool. The best part is that you can share your image and then click Cancel to go back to the original file, which is perfect for templates. Previously, you'd have to make a duplicate first, or undo all the changes to get it back to the original. Quick Look's markup also includes a new crop tool, which works similarly to Photoshop's crop tool. If you quick look a video file, you'll see a new trim icon, allowing you to trim down the video, just like you can on your iPhone. Next, we have some new Finder features. The Cover Flow view has been replaced with Gallery view, which shows a large preview on top, with small thumbnails on the bottom, which you can scroll through. The large preview supports video playback, complete with a UI bar, including volume controls. The preview sidebar on the right side now shows full metadata, which previously, you'd have to go into the Get Info page to find. There's also some new quick actions on the bottom of the preview sidebar. All file types have the option of adding a password, which compresses all selected files into a password-protected zip file. You can easily share that file across the web, and whoever opens it will need the password. Or, you can use it personally. Just make sure to delete the unzipped folder afterwards. For images, you can rotate them, access markup, and instantly create a PDF file out of all of the selected images. Apple highlighted a quick action that would instantly add a watermark to every selected image in one click, but that doesn't seem to be available yet. For video files, you can also instantly rotate them and access the trimming options. Surprisingly, audio files also have the trim button, but it's not currently working. You now have new organization options when right-clicking within the Finder. You can clean up your files and group them by name or kind or whatever you'd like. Once a group is created, you can also sort the files within each group by size or anything else. For number 4, there's a new screenshot HUD. Press the command, shift, and 5 keys at the same time to bring up the HUD, which you can also move around the screen. You now have three screenshot options. Capture the entire screen, capture the selected window, which by the way, is new in Mojave, or capture a selected portion. You also have options to record the entire screen, or a portion of it. Previously, you'd have to open the QuickTime app, click File in the menu bar, and click New Screen Recording. Even better, when you use the HUD, it'll automatically save the recording when you hit the Stop button in the menu bar. With QuickTime, the recording would pop up, and you'd have to save it manually. Whenever you capture or record the screen, a pop-up shows up in the lower right-hand corner. You can click on it to quickly mark it up and share it. Or, you can drag the pop-up directly into an app like the Messages or Mail app. If you accidentally took a screenshot, just click on it and hit the trash icon to delete it. Previously, you'd have to find the screenshot within all of your files and delete it manually. The screenshot HUD also has some new options, so you can change where they save to before you capture your screen. For example, selecting mail will instantly open a new email message with the screenshot already attached. Just choose a recipient and send it. You also have timer options, and you can choose to show the mouse cursor. For the fifth and final feature, Apple is making it easier to port iOS apps over to macOS. It's currently very difficult to do because the underlying frameworks are different. So with Mojave, Apple has taken some key iOS frameworks and adapted them into the system services on macOS. In Mojave, They've already ported over stock iOS apps like News, Stocks, Voice Memos, and the biggest deal of all, the Home app. We've tried them out, and they all work great. These frameworks will be available to third-party app developers, so we can expect a future where we can use our favorite iOS apps on our Macs. We'll be going more in-depth on how to use some of these features in future videos, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.